Well, welcome back. You know, we love our teachers. They always go above and beyond everything that they do in the classroom, outside of the classroom for their students. I want to introduce you to a very, very special teacher. Her name is Taylor White. Mrs. White, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I am doing excellent, I'm so glad that you're here. Now you are a middle school math teacher in the Harbor Beach schools. Tell me a little bit about why did you pick teaching? Why do you love being a teacher? Uh, the kids, really. I mean, like people ask me all the time, what do I teach? And I always say the generic answer, I, I, I teach math, but really I teach kids. Um, math is, is great and everything, but it's the kids who really make everything enjoyable and you've got your highs and your lows with them. Yeah. Um, but above and all, like the highs outweigh everything else. Mrs. White, I love it that you saw a need in your school. You said, you know, you wanted to be a little more inviting, the hallways, the, the bathrooms, everywhere for your sixth through eighth graders. And you said, you know what, I want to do something about that. Tell me a little bit about what you saw the need was. Yeah, so I've always felt like our hallways were just kind of, uh, just very like bare, very minimal. Um, yeah. Nothing was like super inviting or homey. Um, and I love homey. I like worked very hard to make my classroom really warm and inviting for the kids. Um, Cause if kids feel comfortable, then they're in a state where they're ready to learn. So I wanted to do more than just my classroom. Um, I felt that our hallways needed some sprucing up. I'd actually been to some sporting events at other school districts. And I saw like all these like positive inspirational quotes and everything. And I found myself walking down the halls and reading every single quote that I saw and just like thinking about what it meant and everything. And when I saw a grant from a local foundation um, here in Heron County, I was like, I want to apply and I want to do that for our school because mm -hmm. for me, quotes are very uplifting. Yes. Um, and just seeing something small, even if a kid reads it, like when they get to school that day um, and it just like starts their day off on a positive note, like all those little things that you do really add up for the kids. It sure um, does. So I applied for the grant and yeah. I got it and we were able to um, fill our halls with lots of inspirational quotes and everything because of it. That's awesome. And you know, nowadays kids are faced with so much for hearing about school shootings to COVID, this and that, even problems at home and a lot of stress and anxiety with, with youngsters. So tell me, what you hope that the kids feel when they're reading those quotes because i know when i i see something inspirational it just makes my day I and mean, it can just change the course of your day entirely so tell me what you've seen with your kids um so probably the coolest moment after we put the quotes up in the halls um i did recruit all the teachers help me hang them because it is like a lot to take on to hang yeah. them all up um but the day after we hung some up i was standing in the hallway greeting some students and I would watch a student walk into the classroom across from me. And then I watched him back up and he walked back out of that classroom. He looked above the door and mm -hmm. he read the quote and he walked right back into class. And like, uh. it made my day to see that. Cause I'm like, I just really hope that that just like started his hour off on yeah. a positive note. Um, just like gave him something a little bit inspiring or even just something to think about. Um, Cause some of the quotes that the teachers chose, like you have to read it and then read it again yeah. for it to like really sink in. Um, so I also hope that they serve as a conversation piece. Um, I know the quote above my classroom door, kids have like asked me why I picked that one and stuff. So it even just allows for those conversations um, with the kids and kind of gives you that stepping stone to talk to them about. And I love it because you don't know what that youngster, what he was going through that day. And he saw something in that quote that said, hey, I can make it, you know, I'm gonna go through school, yes. I'm gonna have a better day. And that's, I, I can feel that's exactly what he was going through. So are you going to continue this? Do you have, you, are, do you keep adding quotes? How is this going to manifest? No, I have officially run out of grant money. Oh. So I am, I am done right now in okay. middle school. Um, when I applied for the grant, I kind of had budgeted, like I I estimated how much it would cost. Yeah. Um, but I have had several high school teachers that have come up to our middle school yes. and been like, hey, if you want to keep going with that, I'll take a quote above my door. So we will see if I That's feel like awesome. biting off a little bit more and, yeah. and taking on, you know, another uh, grant or whatever, I will totally do it um, because I love it. And I involved the kids in it too. Yeah. And I think that was the coolest thing. Um, some of the quotes that went in our stairwell on these like giant posters, I actually let the kids submit um, different quotes that kind of inspired them. Yeah. And then I let them all vote on them so we could kind of narrow it down to the ones that were there. Um, but it was like really cool. Like when kids saw that their quote got picked, they were like, oh my gosh, that one's mine. And <laughs> I just, I thought it was neat because yeah. like those kids, like some of them are in sixth, seventh or eighth grade now. And like, right. that's going to be here at our school forever. Like yes. 
they've got kind of like that like little mark where they can be proud and just be like hey like i was the one who found that quote and and gave it and kind of came up with that to go on the wall so well mrs. Um, White, it was yeah it's just cool to get to it talk is. to them about those things mrs what i have to tell you that you are making a difference and you're such an inspiration in what you do thank you for teaching and for being a wonderful teacher and thank you for caring about our kids and you can just see the passion in you for helping you want to help their social and emotional needs so we yes. appreciate you thank yep. you so much for joining yes, us thank today you. you are so welcome please continue what you're doing we need you out there thank you yes <laughs> thank you you're so welcome if you have any ideas on what you would like to see on our show all you have to do is send them to us at wnem 4 pm news at wnem.com just use the subject 4 pm news spotlight